A Mew? What? That's a Mewtwo? What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, in the last episode, we dealt with the entire Southern Island thing with Pico and Shiny Latias, and we actually got the Shiny Latias, so I trained it up because everyone said to replace a certain member of the team with the Shiny Latias, which you probably don't notice at first, but you'll figure out who it is within like a minute, because it's on the, the layout anyway, you're going to figure out who's missing, but... In this episode, we're gonna head north from whatever that place was. What is it? Route, yeah, Route 118. Hopefully, we don't find a Pokemon in the water because I do want to find a Pokemon in the grass. And I'm pretty sure we can catch... Slow down, man. I'm pretty sure we can catch, like, two Pokemon in Route 118 as well as 19. Okay, that was, like, a Perugly or something. Perugly? No, it was... A Luxio. Someone pointed out. It was, it's either a Luxio or a Luxre. Like, people always point out the cries that appear on the deck snap, so I always figure out who they are after. Even though it's kind of obvious that each time I cut, like, the flash of white, each time I do that, I'm actually seeing what Pokemon it is. I just cut it out because it's pointless. I try to cut out what isn't actually fun to watch. Like, me, oh, let me see what item there is. Like, earlier in Marvel City, I found an item right behind that little prism tower thing, which is a reference to the Kalos region, and I found an X defense. Pretty sure it happened like a minute ago. I don't know how I forgot. Whoa! <laughs> That's such a weird horde. Oh, okay, there's a cat turn behind Snorlax. It's like the Phoebus. That random Phoebus hiding. Aura Break Cloth, sir. Aren't you supposed to be like the Pulse Pokemon? With Dragon Pulse and Dark Pulse? I mean, except Origin Pulse, huh? But man, what Pokemon would I choose out of these? Okay, in all honesty, I think I'm gonna go for the Snorlax. Because, I mean, think about it, okay? Oh my god, seriously? Wow. Stab whatever it is on the first turn. Why? And you hurt... Okay, synchro... Hyper... What? What is going on? Someone you sync... Where did my Latias go? Great, you brought Guy Sensei out. And now you're some... You guys are working together. I know you're working together. The only one that's not working together is the executor trying to use hyperspace fury. I was trying to say how I think I'm going to go for the Snorlax because just imagine this scenario. You teach Snorlax surf, you use surf, and you're surfing on it. Because you... Can you stop using hyperspace fury? And you stop using synchro noise. Lands rat. Okay, it couldn't get any better. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. God, look how much damage that... That Cacturn did to this Exeggutor. And it's using its last Hyperspace Fury. I'm pretty sure it'll use all five. You ain't a Hoopa. Gooey! What, you like actually smash an egg? Listen, only two Pokemon can use Hyperspace Fury. Hoopa and Pico. I wonder if this thing would survive a Rock Smash. No, wait. Isn't, isn't Snorlax specially defensive and not physically? I don't know. Just don't eat all my Ultra Balls. Because I know Snorlax has a pretty low catch rate. Like a really low catch rate. Not as low as like Xerneas. Because look, look at that. Not even a wiggle. Even though it is at full HP. But still. has like at least 30 at most. 16 Ultra Balls. I'm not going to be able to catch this thing. Look at this. It's a Poffin. Except you go inside. Right? Oh, come on. Do it. Oh, of course not. I think this confirms. Okay, Ember. And you yawn to Ember. And it burns. Wait. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I could use, like, Rock Smash. Should I try? I really want to try. I really want to try right now. I'm so tempted to try. So I'm going to do some damage calculation because I'm not going to try it. But I'm pretty sure it would have worked. I just don't want to lose a Pokemon because this Snorlax could be really good. I just don't know. Are you going to get caught because I'm burnt? Oh! You can't do that. Keeps using spite. Look at that animation. Ow! What PP is it taking? Wow! All of my strength. All of that. All of that is just puns. Come on, man. Look, this isn't fun. Each of these Ultra Balls are worth 1,200. He doesn't care. I'm gonna put you in a Premier Ball. Because I heard you like the color white. This looks like a cupcake. Except you go inside. Doesn't go inside you. Nope. This thing's... Guy Sensei's actually gonna die. What did, why would you do that? 
Just let Mavis take this. Oh, I should have brought someone with, like, hypnosis. I'm pretty sure the Kangaskhan we caught knows hypnosis. We should have just brought that. I never take into consideration that you have to damage these Pokemon. But it's just weird how I got so lucky with Pokemon like Shaman and Victini. And then Pokemon on the other side with, like, Tyranitar and the Snorlax, who are literally impossible to catch. Like, I'm pretty sure I caught Victini in my first Pokeball. And with the Pokeball, not even an Ultra Ball. But look at this thing, it's not gonna go in. See, look at that. I could damage it like this. <laughs> with the Hail, which kills everything, even your own teammates. It killed a Protean Kyogre. Like, did we all forget about that? It killed a Protean Kyogre. I'm not sure if the Kyogre in the storyline is randomized or not. But if it isn't, then we do have another shot at getting a Protean Kyogre. But to think that you could have had a level 30, or level doesn't matter, but to think you could have had that Kyogre right now. Except I'm not willing to get rid of Mavis for Kyogre. Did I do enough damage to where it's a bit easier to catch you? I think it's like in fifths or something, maybe in quarters, I don't know. Oh, this is it! This is it! Oh, you can't do that. He just gets big, it doesn't even morph. Either that, or I need to teach someone, like, hold back or fall swipe. Like, this is impossible. No! No one's learning hold back or fall swipe, because then Mavis is gonna kill them with its hail. I'm not gonna get this Snorlax, am I? It's just gonna take every single ball I have. You know what? Fine, I'll damage you a bit more. Should I have just damaged it with Guy? Probably should have. This is impossible. If you can't catch it in 17 Ultra Balls, you're not gonna catch it in a Cherish Ball. Or a premier ball. Doesn't like the you're not look, you're not gonna go in this. You don't know no, you're not supposed to go in it, don't. Psh, reverse psychology. It never works when I do it. This thing took every it's gonna take every single ball. It's eating it like cookies. Look, look look where the ball goes when it breaks out. Look at this. Breaks out? Where is it? It ate it! Are you serious? We're actually gonna lose the Snorlax? Silence, come on. Why did I talk? We're using quick balls on turn 29. No, I wasn't counting. Oh. Oh, come on. Man. It's not that bad. I mean, it is bad because you can only catch, like, what, 30 Pokemon? In Alpha Sapphire, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, maybe, like, 40 at most. Oh. Oh, my. Why do you do that? Don't do that. So it kind of sucks to lose a Pokemon just like that. Like, I know I sacrificed some Pokemon, or only one Pokemon. This is the Quick Ball. This is the Quick Ball. The only Pokemon I sacrificed was that Cranidos. But that Cranidos, unless Ramparados is gonna have, like, huge power. We can't catch this Snorlax. Wow. We actually couldn't catch this Snorlax. All I'm saying is that I had no hope for that Ramparados. I'm gonna blast you to the moon. You are a moon. I'll make you the moon. I had a nickname ready and everything. Oh, oh, it's worth it. She leveled up. We actually lost it, man. Now I have to go back and buy like another 20 Ultra Balls. A Mew? What? That's a Mewtwo? You're telling me I could have... That's a Mewtwo right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check what it is. I don't care. I'm gonna check what it is. I can't catch it because I wasted it on a Snorlax. Or this thing right here that didn't want to even go in the ball. I swear if this is a Mewtwo though. I swear if I could have gotten a Mewtwo right here. It better be a Paris. This better be Paris. This better be France. It was a Mewtwo. There's actually a Mewtwo in the water the whole time. And I got a Snorlax. I didn't even get the Snorlax. I got nothing. <laughs> wow. At least the good news is... Oh, God. That's a trainer, isn't it? Don't, don't look. Stop. Thank you. God, don't look, I said. At least we get to catch Pokemon up here. Route 119. 119. There should be TMs here as well. Pretty sure. And it's raining. Okay, I'm pretty sure the trainers hide well here. What? Why is it like... What? Don't look at me. Man, I really wish in this game... Like, you see how it's raining and there's thunderbolts or lightning bolts? I wish it was like an emerald. Oh, I did it to a horde! Oh, it's a horde anyway. Oh, I got so lucky. Oh my god, I got so lucky. And I want that Coffer Grigus. I don't even care. Oh. 
I want that coffee grigus. That was the first thing I saw. Oh, wow. A sligu in the rain. I wonder what he's doing in the rain. Nasty plot. And glaciate again. This gastrodon is smart. Unless that's the only attack it knows. Is it lowering my special? Oh, it's lowering my speed. Well, this thing's using acid armor a lot. So I should be able to probably use like Cobalion and just hit it. Because it has like four times or three times the defense now. Flash cannon. Damn, that got to tell is really good. Or got to read it. I don't know. Is it? I think pretty sure it's got to tell. That thing used nasty plot and then flash cannon. Damn, I kind of want this got to tell. Because this thing has some really good attacks. It has flash cannon and nasty plot. And that same cry. I want to be really careful with this Cofagrigus. Because I really want this Cofagrigus. Or Cofagrigus. I don't know. No matter what you, no matter how you pronounce a Pokemon. There's always going to be someone who pronounces it different. And be like, oh, you're wrong. Oh, thank God I stocked up again. And thank God this thing shouldn't be as hard to catch as that Snorlax. The problem with that Snorlax was the fact that you could catch it in X and Y. So it probably keeps that same. This thing is burnt. Is there any attacks it can... It doesn't have any... Of course. Look at these. Just because I'm up against the ghost. That would have been perfect. That would have been perfect. The thing about Snorlax is... It had that interactive encounter in X and Y. So it probably kept the same catch rate. But this thing shouldn't be that hard to catch. It should have like 60 as a catch rate. Which is like 20% or something. Inferno. In the rain. So strong. And finally, we could have a ghost type. Am I hatching my chickens before I count them or whatever? Yes, I counted my chicken before I hatched them. Or whatever. That's why English class doesn't help. Brooke, in all honesty, I don't know what to name this thing. Like, I'm thinking of anime characters or some sort of thing that rings a bell when you think of ghost types. But all I can come up with is Brooke. And not, not degrading Brooke, but it's, an, it's another One Piece character. There's so many One Piece references in this. A lot, punny? I mean, who needs you when I got Latias, okay? But what I do want to do is go back to the PC and actually look at that Brook that we caught, or Cofagrigus. You know what? Actually, saying it by the name actually saves me because I don't have to pronounce its name. And someone who doesn't like my pronunciation go, yeah. Oh, it's Brook good. Oh, oh! Welcome back. What ability does this thing have? Fur coat? Charizard at X? No, 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 no. Oh, and it knows surf, so now he can surf on Brook. Oh my god. Hasty, that's not good because it, it has good special defense. But fur coats, that doubles its defense. Oh, no, 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 no. Hasty takes away your defense. But it's, it's not even bad at all because he has fur coat and he's holding the Charizardite. Ah, oh, you know what the problem with this is, though? I'm pretty sure if I give it to this guy, he can Mega Evolve once into Mega Charizard, and then he goes back into normal Charizard. So this is probably the last time you're going to see permanent Mega Charizard Y, or even Mega Charizard Y for that matter. But Fur Coat, Coffer Grigus, oh, he's definitely a member of our team. If someone dies, which I hope not, he's definitely going to take over. But, I mean, first comes Kiji and then comes him. But, man, Fur Coat and it's, it gave me the Charizard at X. That's amazing. And it's a ghost type. We don't have any ghost types yet. Mega Charizard X. Uh, Mega Charizard X wide. Wide X. Y squared equals Charizard Y. X. Charizard X Y. Big Z confirmed. Oh, nope. No, nothing here. Whoa. He, so, did you? It jumped out. It jumped. Oh, the trainer. It jumped into the sky. Nah, he didn't see me. On to Route 119. Well, now that everyone's healed up, and we got that Charizard with the Charizard at X, man, that's it's gonna be so weird because if I use a Charizard at X, because my current Charizard is a Y attacker, it has all special. Don't look at me. It has all special attacks, so it isn't meant for all those. Like, look at its move set. Actually, actually, do a team update right now. Look at its move set right now. It has four amazing special attacks. So if I were to Mega Evolve it into X and then it goes back to normal, it's going to kind of suck. Even though I think Charizard X does have increased special attacks. So it's not that bad. And if any case, he is 
a timid nature, so it is gonna work out, actually, but I should do a team update because I did train up Bianca as well as Schmerda over here. Schmerda learned Dragon Claw, and I got rid of Zen Head, but I think it was because if you just do the math, you sit there for 10 years thinking, Dragon Claw is just as good as Zen Headbutts. I just wanted to change. But this guy learned Hurricane, Ice Beam, and Zap Cannon. So this is going to be one of our best members. Even though I got the nature wrong in the last episode, I'm like, oh, it has good special, it has good attack. Too bad. Anyway, did you you give me a TM? You don't look like someone who, who fights. Who gives me flying this? Isn't it May? Like all the way when you get to Forward Tree, and then you have to right when you're about to leave for Lily Cove. Lily Cove. Okay, let's not go there. We're still on Route 119, so I don't think we can catch any more Pokemon. And I don't want to fight any more trainers. I'd rather do that off screen. Oh. Item. Doesn't even matter. No one no one drops their items on a bridge. In the same way Diglett shouldn't be able to be on a bridge in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. If you have a Diglett following you. Oh, an item. I'm not gonna get I, I wanna get that. I don't wanna find a Pokemon. If you have a Diglett following you in Heart Gold and Soul Silver and you go on a bridge, it's still following you. Even though it's a little thin piece of wood. Okay. We can do this. That guy just randomly go up for. Man, I'm just thinking of that Mewtwo. I mean, Mewtwo would have been extremely hard. Oh, we have to deal with Team Aqua. How did I completely forget that? The thing about Mewtwo is it has a catch rate of 3, which is like... 1% of what Mew of Snorlax would have been. Maybe not 1%, but like 5%. So, I probably w definitely wouldn't have been able to catch that Mewtwo, but if anything, I would have wanted to try catching the Mewtwo over the Snorlax. What do you want? Well, I was sleeping, everyone upstairs. Oh, that's it? Oh god, see Mako Grounds, I just fight them all. The best guy is the research they have going here, so we I've just realized these Grunts don't have names, and there's a Togepi here. Why do you have a Togepi? This guy chose the wrong starter. You're never gonna end up with the poison heal damage, man. Oh! You're telling me if I picked Togepi, I would have had Primordial C? So, wait, Togepi... Okay, hold on. Togepi had Primordial C, and Darmok had Drizzle. This was set up. It was all set up. You meant for this to happen. But, man, I really want to try using that Coffee Grigus. I might actually... Sacred Sword? Okay. I might actually try training it up while fighting all these random trainers. But I really do want to level that thing up, man. That that thing's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. And I'm looking for the moment that I'm going to have to sacrifice permanent Mega Charizard. Well, it's not sacrifice because I'm just sacrificing the permanent Mega part. But I know that at some point I'm, I am going to have to do that. Because like I said like many episodes ago, Mega Charizard Y was fished out of the water with an old rod. Oh, God. What ability am I getting? Mummy? How does it work out like that? Like, you just have mummy when you have entrainment. Like a Durant. But the thing is, Mega Charizard Y was fished out of the water with an old rod, so all of its IVs are disgusting. Not that it should matter much, because in the end, in, in, if, if it's level 100, it's only going to have, like, a maximum of, like, 30 stat changes. But at this point here, it shouldn't matter much. But if anything, it's weaker than every other Pokemon in terms of IVs. So, I don't, I don't even think it matters, because going from one Charizard X or Mega Charizard to another Mega Charizard shouldn't matter. But if anything, and I do have to Mega Evolve it, it's going to suck, because I'm never going to have that permanent again. I don't know, my mind is just flabbergasted by that Coffee Grigus, because that was, that was like the perfect package. That made up for losing the Snorlax. Because I would have given up a Pokemon to get a Mega Stone this early, because the earliest you can get the Mega Charizard X, no, the Charizard X, is... After you deal with Kyogre and Groudon, from what I know. So I wouldn't have been able to get it, if anything. And I don't know how this thing turns back. People are saying that if it's in my party and I turn off the game, that it would turn back into normal Charizard. But I can't really test that because I actually leave this DS on all the time. So maybe that's why it doesn't actually turn back. In this world, Archie hoped to create. Curse you the precious results of my research. Give him back! Oh! He actually slaps her? Steady on, are you alright? Fine, I'll give it back, I'll give it back, alright? The awakening of the super ancient Pokemon will bring about extreme weather. If this happened all over the world, what would become of Pokemon, not to mention people? You guys and your useless babbling. And these guys always have slouched backs. 
We're a team marker. We are pair whenever anything rare is found. No, that's not how it works. That car for Gregos was rare. Did you appear? No. <laughs> a car and a vine, of course. You guys are just Team Rocket in disguise. And Carnivine is like, when Carnivine was revealed in Coral Coral, it was one of those Pokemon that everyone thought was fake because sort of like Hoopa Unbound now, no one really ever thought to see this Venus Flytrap Pokemon. Man, these guys are actually high leveled. Like, these guys are normal trainers. These guys are almost as high leveled as me. That thing only did three. And it survived my Ice Beam. You slack off just to piss you off. And I also should be trying to teach these guys TMs. Because I have a bunch of good TMs. Like Splash. That I need to give to all these guys. Like Shmurda currently has no guard as its ability. And it can learn both Hurricane and Inferno. And Inferno always burns. And Hurricane will have a 30% chance of confusing. So it's really good. Is this guy sending out a camera up? I scratched that. It's not part of Team Rocky. It's part of Team Magma. This guy is Maxi. He's Majin Maxi. Right here in the flesh. I'm calling this thing the Mega Evolve right now. It's gonna Mega Evolve. Ten bucks on the line. You didn't hear that. Damn, just like that. But see, when you compare Camera up to Primal Groudon and Whale Lord to Primal Kyogre. That's actually the right comparison. It's not actually Sharpedo to Primal Kyogre. It's actually Wailord. And you can also see because they have the same typings as well as the same old signature move. Because I say old because now they have Primordial C and all that. But both Wailord and Kyogre learn Water Spout. And both Groudon and Camerupt learn Eruption. And they also share the same typing when they're in their true forms. So, I mean, obviously not confirmed. But in my opinion... That's how I see it. So to see that Wailord didn't get a Mega is kind of weird. Like, I would have expected Wailord to get a Mega and have, like, Trout as its ability to be, like, the mini Groudon. I think I said this in the video, too. As well as Sharpedo to Mega Evolve and get... Not Sharpedo, wow. As well as Camera to Mega Evolve and get Drought. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But all I'm saying is that they should have been mini versions of Kyogre and Groudon. Like, I like Sheer Force Mega Camera, but I think... Given a drought would have been so much better. Okay, well, Bianca can't fight in this battle. You know, let's just put Charizard in the front. Let's see if we actually have to Mega Evolve him right here. Is that even a good idea? That is not a good idea, is it? Let's, let's put, like... Well, I can actually heal my Pokemon if I go to the PC down there. Is there any hidden grunts? Wow, wow, I can I can watch my own videos. <laughs> Believe in the Pico. Oh, let's not do that. How do they just slide around like that? She she has like little pads on her feet that just slide around. Oh my. I can even run into you when I'm not on the clock. I wonder why that is. Maybe we're destined to be together. You don't say that within the first three lines of meeting me. That's not how it works. Oh god. I remember this battle in, in, in Omega Ruby. Not Omega Ruby. Ruby and Sapphire. Thankfully she only has one Pokemon. Which is going to make this a lot easier. And it's a Gudra. We're just going to make this a lot harder. But Gudra fits Team Aqua. Obviously because of the rain and then the gooiness. And it has Poison Heal now. Well, that's good. You know, Poison Heal actually fits Gudra as well. Because obviously the gooey. I'm going to stop. Let's just use Thousand Arrows. Level 55? You can't do that. Oh, no. Oh, it's only using payback. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You can't use... Oh my god. You can't have level 42 Pokemon on Grunts. And then come up with a level 55 Gudra. Did you do it because Gudra evolves at level 55? Or 50 or whatever? I don't know. The thing is, this thing could have a one-hit KO move. And just slaughter my entire team. Assuming it's going to use payback again. I should go into guy, but obviously it has something to counter steel types, probably. Let's just go into Mavis. Or Abby. Let's go into Abby. Because Abby's a monster. It has... It, it could be a double mega. Come on, Abby. Psycho boost! 
Oh, thankfully, if I didn't survive, that would have sucked. But now that I survived, I can survive anything because it's just half that special attack. So I'm in luck unless it has like water punch if that does not even attack. But if it has some sort of physical water attack, like waterfall. But man, a level 55 Guja. Like they do this all the time with gym leaders. Like Brawly. All the trainers in that gym had like level 10 Pokemon. And then Brawly pops in with like a level 25 Mega Medicham with Protein. And they're probably going to do that in the next gym as well with, with Winona. Like, look how I'm struggling to beat this thing. Because I don't even know now. Am I supposed to be level 50 for the next gym? Or am I good? Like it's just, just supposed to be like a super boss or something. That did so much! Is Oh, it's because I went first. I'm going to go into Guy. I'm going to go into Guy. I know everybody hates Guy. And I think I hate Guy as well, but it's the best Pokemon to use here. Does it only have Payback and Psycho, Psycho Boost? Looks like it. You almost in the back of your head think that Cobalion's attacks can increase because of Justified. Oh, it's dead. Man, I know this thing probably had some sort of, like, messed up attack. Thankfully, didn't get a chance to use it. Thankfully. Haha, <laughs> they tired me out. Don't say those things. Hmm. <laughs> I feel a bit more relaxed, thanks. As a token of my gratitude, I'll tell you one thing. When Team Aqua's... No, when the illustrious Archie's ambitions have been realized... What do you, what do you mean? I'm the illustrious one. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm wearing blue. I'm Archie. Is Archie wearing blue? No, he's wearing pink. And now someone's gonna say he's wearing magenta. Thank you, young one. You helped us from quite a pinch. <sighs> who who, com who comes up with these metaphors? Or whatever they are. Quite a pinch? Like You only hear that in a Pokemon game. I don't hear that in, in cereals or anime. You only hear that in a Pokemon game. Oh, this is where you get the cast form. This is where you get the cast form. Or it could be anything else in this game. One of the pair was the legendary Pokemon we know as, all, as the Almighty Kyogre. By absorbing the energy that abounds in the natural world, Kyogre transformed itself. Or it said, the trans... Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. I know this. I don't want to read. Okay? I didn't sign out a book at the library. I'll be heading downstairs now. Yeah, leave. Do you tell me what Pokemon I get? Tell me. Is it a cast form? Oh, but this is Route 119. Which means I can't get... I can't use the Pokemon I get here anyway. But it was worth it. Because we got the Coffee Gregus, which is amazing. You just suddenly get back to work? Hello, you've been saved by your actions. He's redditing. You can see that. He's redditing. How dare you? Oh, vending machines. Is this, is this a cheap vending machine as well? No, it's not. You guys are trolls. Game Freak, you're a troll. I'm gonna... I'm going to make a game where it doesn't take that long to buy lemonade. Because it doesn't. Oh, no. Oh, we fight May over there, don't we? Oh, no. She's right there. You can probably see her. She's right there. Oh, can you see her? No, you can't. God, I, I, we're definitely... She's definitely going to be a pain in the butt to be. Especially after seeing what Shelly could do with level 55 Pokemon after level 42 Pokemon. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. And also be sure to check out the, the Unbound Tees because they were actually relaunched since so many people were asking for them. It's, it's weird how people usually ask for them after the campaign ends. But you can actually still pick one up until mid-May. Probably like May 12 or something like that. I don't remember the date. But you can still pick up an Unbouncy if you missed out on that. So be sure to click the box on screen if you want to grab one. But that is it for this episode and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>